Hey yo, we are back in the fridge, so you know what that means. It's TikTok time, and <clears throat> Miss Emily Mariko, we are taking on the infamous salmon bowl. When I tell you on TikTok, this thing has hundreds of millions of views. I'm not exaggerating. So we're gonna make it, we're gonna try it, and then we're gonna level it up with some ideas that I have to make it even better. Let's waste no more time. What's going on everybody? My name is Farnham and you are now watching another episode of More Seasoning. My flannel. We're gonna watch this TikTok. Let's go. Okay, some cold salmon. Oh, she like, look like cat food. The ice. Okay, a little parchment paper, wax paper. And the microwave. Okay, steam that rice, right? I get it, I get it, I get it. A little soy. Sriracha. Be cute. Just mixing it up. I mean, I would eat it just like that. That's a vibe. A little pickled cucumber, pickled, okay, avocado. Nice little cut right there. Some seaweed. Only type of weed I like. And that's it. I'll say this, it looks real simple, real easy. I think there's a lot of room to flavor it up, but we gotta try it first. Let's go. Hi, let's make sushi rice. All right, now we gotta wash our rice. If you missed last week's erotic rice massage, here's a clip. Oh, right in it. Oh, yeah. Right between those grains. We're not getting touchy-feely today. Let's just wash it. You know what they say, cloudy rice. Cloudy skies. And then you're just gonna wash it until it runs clean, just like that. Mmm, clean. Rice goes in the rice maker, top goes on, and we start it. Sir, what do you have to say for yourself? Sounds good. I don't have any pre-cooked salmon, so. Oh, that just splattered all over me. So we gotta make it fresh. Let's slice. We're gonna cut right through the middle of the salmon. We're gonna cut it into two slices. One for her recipe, one for mine. Grab you some parchment. Stop using aluminum foil, it's too expensive. Now we're gonna lube them up. Hit them with some salt and some black cracked pepper. Do you see that right there? You see how it's a Bluetooth? Right there, that Bluetooth thermometer that I've been telling everybody to get because it's gonna make sure that your meat is cooked perfectly every time. And all we have to do is just stick the thermometer in the middle of the fish and then we pop it into the oven and it's gonna go. Hello, Mr. Farnham, uh, your salmon's ready. Pull it out or it's gonna be overdone. Thank you, goodbye. Come on guys, link below. All right, so I got my thermometer set to 140 because I don't like gummy ass salmon. Now we're going into the oven. Close it up, it'll let me know when it's done. All right, if one of y'all see my soon-to-be nephew Caleb, please let him know I need my oven mitts back because this, oh my God, that's so hot on my hand. But that's what your salmon looks like. I mean, I think that looks like hers. All we're waiting for at this point is for our rice to finish. We've got just a few minutes left on this. If you're wondering why I'm whispering, we're in a spa right now. I'm getting some facial pore opening with this steam, a cleanse. You hear the music, you know the vibes are. I'm not talking about erotica when I say it's about to get steamy. We gotta go ahead and fluff up this rice until it is perfect. I love a rice maker, man. You get perfect rice every damn time. I know this is salmon, but I'm thinking flounder because it's time to flatten this fish. So here we go, we're gonna do just like she did. Oh, wow, that is just cooked absolutely perfectly. Wait, what is that in the middle there? Is that a hook? No, that's the Bluetooth thermometer that you ladies and gentlemen should buy because I've been talking about them for over a year at this point and they're amazing. Do you see how perfectly the salmon's cooked? I didn't even have to check the temperature. I didn't have to pull it out or anything. Now we're gonna take our salmon, we're gonna put it into the bowl, slide it out just like so. Next, we are going in with our fluffy sushi rice. Now we're going in with, whoa, no we're not because Ours is hot and fresh because we didn't have any in the fridge, so no need to use the ice cube. Let's grab the condiments. Soy time, baby. We're going in with the drizz. Now we're going in with that QP. And then we're gonna hit it with some of that sriracha. And now we mix. All right, now I'm slicing around my avo. Let's see if we're in luck. Three, two, play the spooky music, and she's grand. All right, now you're gonna grab your knife. We're gonna bust a nut. There we go. Take it out, and then we're just gonna slice this up. Let's get it. We're gonna slice, yeah, 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 yeah. Spread that avocado out. That's a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, you hear that spooky music playing. It is time to taste test the Emily Mariko salmon bowl. I got some seaweed right here. I'm going in. Well, that didn't work. Try it again. We're gonna go in. Seaweed's just kind of breaking apart, but here we go. Three, two, one. 
Let me try one more. Ladies and gentlemen, I have to say I am thoroughly impressed. As basic as this was, it was actually really, really good. It came together nice. It's got a ton of flavor with all those spices and sauces that we put together. I'm giving this a 4.5 out of five. Only reason I didn't give it a five is because I have a few other ideas that we can add to this just to level up a little bit more. So let's get into it. All right, so flavor enhancement number one, fish down, and then we're hitting this with a little bit and when I say a little bit, I say a good amount of some nice, good quality teriyaki dressing. We're just gonna hit all sides of that and you guys know exactly what is coming next. All right, Bluetooth time. We're doing just like we did before. I'm coming in, ha, there we go. Stick it right in the center. Voila, there it is, Viola. And now my boy is going in at 400 until my phone tells me to pull it out. So I said we were gonna add some sweetness to the rice and the way that we do this is my personal favorite way to make rice. We add this to it. I'm gonna do a, I don't know, let's say quarter cup of rice vinegar. We're gonna let that heat up and then we're just gonna add about a tablespoon of sugar, a little pinch of salt. And now we're just gonna mix this up till everything melts. It'll happen very, very quickly. Look at that, we're already melted. Just follow me, Jamar. We're gonna come right over to the rice. Here we go to the rice. Pop it open, kiss it twice. All right, so you see my rice in there. I don't have too much, so therefore I'm just gonna kind of eyeball this, splash them in there. Ah! The last little bit. Now we're gonna mix. There we go, perfect. That's what we want right there, that nice sticky glaziness. And we can just keep this in here because it has a warmer, so there. You go, ladies and gentlemen, there is our sticky rice. My energy is not what it usually is today, just so you know, because the last six or seven days, I've been getting this crazy headache. I got all this tension in my neck. I don't know why you wanna hear about my problems, you wanna hear about food, Never mind. All right, so uh, basically what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make this cucumber strip. Get your head out of the gutter. We're gonna do rotate it, rotate it, so we can get some nice presentation, so that's what it looks like all the way around. We're gonna scoot these guys out of the way, and then we're gonna come in here. We're using this knuckle right here. And then we're just gonna go ahead and get some slices. You know what, I messed up, I totally messed up. Ladies and gents, what I wanted to do was one big slice, cut it in half, cut it into quarters, and then what I wanted to do was come down and do that. That's what I meant to do. And now we have these beautiful little cucumber quarters, 25 cents worth. All right, cucumbers, we're grabbing, we're throwing into a bowl. All right, so we got our cucumbers, now we're going in with a drizzle of some rice vinegar. Don't be afraid, this shit is great. And we're gonna taste some toasted sesame seeds. Da, 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 da. It's not cold out, but we do have some red chili flake. Get it, chili? No, stupid, okay. Boom, sprinkle a couple of those in there for a little pop of heat. And then we're gonna just go in and we're gonna just toss them up just like that. And then that is gonna be your final product right there. We'll give it a taste. Mm. Perfect amount of little zing, little bite, little crunch, little heat. That's gonna go great on top of that salmon bowl. George, you could tell, you could tell it's gonna taste good. That's why that tongue's out, huh, my boy? George, is it gonna taste so damn good? It's gonna taste so good, ain't it? All right, ladies and gentlemen, please, once again, if you see my soon-to-be nephew, Caleb, tell him I need my oven mitts back because it's gonna be about the eighth time I burn my hand. Ah! And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Check that out. Now let's compare that to Miss Mariko's. You can see we have got a perfectly sauced up salmon. That is just some burnt teriyaki sauce that is gonna pull right away from your salmon. All right, and we got some spring onion. Get it, spring, <laughs> we got it. We're just gonna cut this up, come on. And now we smash. Again, look at that beautifully cooked salmon. All because I knew the exact temperature it was when I pulled it out. Look at that, it just falls apart. So now we can take this beautiful teriyaki salmon and then we can slide it. I just kinda wanna spread it out a little bit. That way I have it covering the rice. Now we're going furikake seasoning, ready? This is just seaweed, sesame seeds, and a little bit of amazingness. Here we go. I'm just gonna sprinkle that to add a little pop of flavor on top of everything. Now we do a little drizzle of soy. We're going in with our Kewpie mayo, then tag teaming it with that sriracha. A pile of our finely sliced green onion, a handful of our sweet and spicy cucumbers, and just a small pile of our pickled onions. So I was literally just about to taste test and forgot we have to get the avocado. I'm not gonna do big slices like she does because it's kind of hard to scoop them up, so we're just gonna cube them. Let's get it. Now we can just take those avocado, add them right along the back side. And ladies and gentlemen, it is time to taste test. You hear that spooky music, we'll go in just like she does. You know what, Emily, you're better with the chopsticks than I am. I'm just gonna go in like a savage. Got it, ooh, we got all kinds of flavors in there. Here we go, three, two, one. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's a whole different experience. That's a vibe right there. Hold up, let me wash my hands. 
bowl. Okay, hear me out. Yes, you definitely have to put in more work in order to make this bowl this way, right? Because we try to add more flavors, more balance against that savory and that spicy. What Emily does is great for just a quick meal that you wanna heat up, you gotta get lunch out of the way, whatever it is. I'm not knocking it, it's actually really good. I gave it a four and a half. This has gotta be five stars. It's light, it's got all the flavor profiles that we're looking for. It's got crunch, it's got sweetness, it's got that soft in there. This right here is gas. I'm going five out of five. You make it at home, you let me know. Ladies and gentlemen, check me out like a peeping Tom. I've done this outro about 27 times. Now look, we took that salmon bowl from Emily Mariko. We turned it from a 4.5 to a five. Look at it, it's beautiful, it's amazing, it's great, it tastes beautiful. If you got the time to do it, do it. If you're in a pinch, make hers. I got nothing else to say besides please scroll down, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, drop a comment below, let me know what you wanna see me make from TikTok next here on YouTube. My name is Farnham, this is More Seasoning, and I'm out, I'm tired of doing this damn outro. You can tell, you can tell it's gonna taste good. That's why that tongue's out, huh, my boy? You see that tongue? You see that tongue, dude? Yeah. Happy boy, George. Yeah, that's a good boy. George, you see that tongue, my boy? You see that tongue, dude? George, George is it gonna taste so damn good? It's gonna taste so good, ain't it? <laughs>